Okay, let's do more integrations. The integral from 1 to 9, and here we have a crazy expression, x minus 1 on the top, over square root of x. Luckily, we only have one thing on the bottom, and this is a power function, so we should try to split the fraction to see what we can do um, after that. And here we are going to have 1 to 9. Let me split the fraction as x over square root of x minus 1 over square root of x. And still have the dx on the side. What's x over square root of x? Perhaps I'll show you on the side. x over square root of x, you have a few ways to do this. You can look at this as x to the first power, right? That's on the top. Over the square root of x is like x to the half power. So we have x to the one half. By looking at this way, you know we can subtract the exponents. So we have 1 minus 1 half, we get x to the 1 half. Okay? So for the first part, we can simplify that. I still have the integral though. I haven't done anything with the integral yet. 1 to 9, this is x to the 1 half. So let me just box this on the side for that. And for the second one, we have minus 1 over square root of x. So this is like x to the 1 half on the bottom. So I can bring that up. This is going to be minus x to the negative 1 half after I bring that up, right, with a negative exponent. We still have the dx after that. And finally, we are ready to do the integral. They are in the power form, so we shall do the power rule backwards, the reverse power rule. Namely, we are going to add 1 to the exponent first. 1 half plus 1 is 3 half. And divide by the new exponent. Divided by 3 half, it's the same as multiply by 2 thirds. For the first part, we are going to have 2 thirds x to the 3 half, like this. And now for the second term is, we have x to the negative 1 half. We still add 1 to the exponent. Negative 1 half plus 1, it's going to be positive 1 half. So this is positive 1 half. And divided by 1 half, it's the same as multiply by 2. Multiply by 2 over 1. So let me just write this down. Divide by 1 half, it's the same as multiply by 2 over 1, the reciprocal. Very similar to that. And this is a fraction though. So, I mean, this is a whole number though. So this is minus 2. And we have x raised to the positive 1 half power. And because we are doing the integral with numbers right here, right, the definite integral, we don't need to worry about the plus z. We just need to do a bracket from 1 to 9. And then make sure that we use, we use the parentheses accordingly. So I put it right here, like this. And I'll continue right here. Next step is we are going to plug in, one, plug in 9 into all the x, and then we are going to subtract when we plug in 1 into all these x. First part, plugging 9 to all these x, we have 2 thirds and 9 inside of the parentheses raised to the 3 half power minus 2 times 9 to the 1 half. That's the first part. I will have to subtract, plugging 1 to all these x, we have 2 thirds times 1 to the 3 half minus 2 times 1 to the 1 half. Like that, okay? Anyways, let's just get to work for this. Um, 9 to the 3 half, it's going to be 27. Okay, I, that, I mean, let me just do this right here again for you guys. 9 to the 3 half, like how, how can we do this? Okay, so first of all, take care of the denominator of the, power, of the power. The half power means we are going to do the square root of 9. And then we are going to raise that to the third power. As you can see, this is square root of 9, which is 3. And then we still have to do the third power, so we get a total of 27. Nine, I mean, 3 to the third power is not 9. 3 to the third power is 27. So here we have 2 thirds times 27 for that. Minus, this is 2. 9 to the 1 half power, it's like the same as saying square root of 9, which is 3. So let me multiply by 3. This is the first part. Minus, 1 to any power is just 1, so we are good. We have just 2 thirds minus 2, like that. A lot more fractions, you know, things like that. Anyways, just do more for fun. This is going to be, this is like 1, this is going to be 9, so you have uh, 18, this is minus 6, 
and if you would like this is going to be 12 but like whatever this is like two thirds minus two right so you can just put a one so multiply by three multiply by three and two minus six you get negative four over three like that this is what 12 minus minus becomes plus plus four thirds and then now what put this as over one get the common denominator so times three times three on the top, 12 times 3 is 36. 36 plus 4 is 40. On the denominator, we have 3. 40 over 3. Enjoy your fractions.